Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Brandon's writing lesson. So excited to see everybody here today. Guys, we have a really exciting writing lesson today. So let's go ahead and start out by taking out our supplies. So we always start out by taking out our supplies, right? So let's take out a piece of paper and a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and take out a piece of paper and a pencil and we'll get started. Alrighty guys, so we have our supplies out and as always, we are ready to start our lesson for the day, all right? So let's get started and scholars, this week we've been discussing having correct spacing and spelling in our writing responses. So let's get some more practice on that. So as always, we know that our spacing, for our spacing, we need to have one finger in between our words, enough space for one finger in between our words. And we need to be making sure with our spelling that everything is spelled correctly. So we need to be checking our work to make sure that everything is spelled correctly. So let's do that. So I have written a sentence here. So the sentence that I wrote is, I had 10 apples for breakfast. Does that look right to you? No, it doesn't look right to me either. So let's take the time to correct it. So I, that looks good, had 10. Is that a word? No, that's not a word. That's two words, right? So let's make it two words. So let's erase that and let's put one finger of space in between had and 10. So we know that those are two separate words. All right, the next word is apples. That looks good. Now guys, the word or spelled F-O-O-R? No, it's not spelled that way. It's spelled F-O-R, right? F-O-R, so the word is for. That looks good. And the last word is breakfast. And that is spelled correctly as well. All right, so the, the sentence is, I had 10 apples for breakfast. And that is a lot of apples. So I am pretty full right now. And guys, we are going to move on now to our writing lesson expectations. So I'm going to give you a quick review, as always, what our writing expectations are for our writing response today. So kindergarten, you're going to write a four-sentence response about the prompt that I give you. And I want to know the characters in your story, who was there. I want to know the setting, where it took place, where and when it took place. And I want to know the events that took place in first next and last order. So as always scholars we're paying attention to punctuation making sure that we use exclamation marks, periods, and question marks. We're paying attention to capitalization making sure that the first letter in the word, or I'm sorry, the first letter in the sentence is correctly capitalized, uh, making sure that the, the word I is capitalized and making sure that people's names are always capitalized. And then we are also making sure that we have spacing in between words, one finger of space in between words. And lastly, we're making sure that everything is spelled correctly. Now, first grade, you're going to be doing the same thing, but you're going to be writing a five sentence paragraph about the prompt that I give you. So you're going to be writing a five sentence paragraph about the prompt that I give you given the same criteria. Alright guys, so we reviewed what my expectations are for your writing, uh, writing responses. So now let's get into our writing prompt and let's discuss our emotion of the day that we're going to be writing about. So our emotion of the day is going to be unsure. So our emotion of the day is going to be unsure. So scholars, when you feel unsure, you're not sure what you want to do about something. So you're not sure what you want to do. So have you ever felt unsure about something? Hmm. So scholars, let's write about a time where you felt unsure of what to do. So maybe this could be a decision that you had to make, um, what you wanted for dinner. So if you're if your parents said, if it was your birthday and your parents were like, do you want cheeseburgers or hot dogs for dinner? And you wanted both, but you had to only choose one, so you weren't sure what choice to make. So scholars, that could be an example of a time where you felt unsure. 
So I want you to tell me now about a time where you felt unsure. Kindergarten, you're going to be writing four sentences telling me about the character, the setting, and the events that took place in first, next, and last order. And fifth, I'm sorry, first grade, you're going to be writing a five-sentence paragraph telling me the same thing. And as always, guys, we're paying attention to capitalization, punctuation, spelling, and I'm sorry, and spacing, spacing. All right, guys, so we are done for the week now. We are done with our writing lessons for the week, and it is Friday. And scholars, you did an amazing job today, and I will see you again on Monday, okay? So, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you again on Monday. Bye, guys.